Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to go through now is I've had a uh, YouTube video earlier that I did the outside lighting as far as lighting up a table while you're sitting there working and while you're eating and not bright in your face. So this time we're going to do an interior lighting of, of a of a uh, A-frame type camper. This one is an A-liner, so some of the things will be specific to an A-liner, but this pretty much falls in line with almost any kind of uh, A-frame that you have. And in fact, it actually follows through with some of the smaller campers. So some of the lights that I work, that we work for us and doesn't work for other people's, it, it's just these are these are some of the things that have worked for us, and uh, I'm just going to show you what we've got. And, Two things you want to consider is uh, sometimes you're going to be plugged into shore power with the 110. So some of those lights we show you will be for that. I'm on the east coast, so most of the time I'm going to have a power wherever I'm at. So that'll be most of the, the power that I that I use is is that 110. But some of our stuff is dual purpose, so it has a way of running off the 12 volt, and so that's important too to have a 12 volt or USB or anything like that to to run off that 12 volt. Uh, if you're boondocking. Uh, in our own case, uh, where I live in Kentucky, I may go down to Mammoth Cave National Park, and the Mammoth Cave National Park does not have any electrical hookups. So this is a way we'll camp if we go down there. So some of the things we have are dual purpose. So just looking around the camper, like I say, I'll show you here. Uh, I've got mostly some of these lights on. Uh, these lights that they put in these A-liners, they're LEDs, the newer ones, but they're so harsh, I don't care much for these. There's one on this side, and then there's one down here on this side. I don't care much at all for these. About the only time I use this, I use this one here, the lower one. If I'm packing up and it's still dark outside in the morning, and I've done this when I did a, a big trip, I'll turn this one. It's why I'm folding my sides down and stuff like that, and just make sure I turn that off. Because these don't get real hot because they're LED, but you still want to make sure that's turned off before you head out. So those lights, I don't find myself using very much. So we'll just go ahead and turn those off now, and we'll go on to something else. So the next up, like I said, that runs off the 12 volt, so it can work either way. Now what we use a lot is just a plain old lamp. Now it's plugged into 110 and we've got an LED light in there. So uh, it has to be plugged into shore power for that. So we like that because if you sit back here and you're sitting back, it just lights the whole area up all through here real nice and light. And it works out really well. We That's kind of the way we want to go with it. And so for the most part, we use that kind of light. Now my wife has one here. I'll show you what we have here. And I'll post some of these lights on my on the bottom of this video. So my wife has this lamp, which we really like. I think I got it off of Amazon. I'm not sure what it cost, but this one here is nice because you you can have it unplugged and it lasts for about two days unplugged. It has different different levels. It has a lower base that lights up, and it actually has a um, kind of a night light feature on there. And then this here, we can you can change the the brightness and go goes up and down and see it's it's kind of going down there now and then we can you can also take it back up turn it completely off or turn it back on and we'll go back up with the intensity on it now so that one works out really well and again that is something that we um, we can we can charge that up and it has a USB that we plug in we have a little charger over here on the 110 it has USB on it over here at the other end it has a USB charger down here but then we also have a 12 volt we have this hooked into the to the um, plug on the side and we have the two the 12 volt there and then we have a breakdown where we have our cords for plugging in our telephone and like I said we can plug into here and charge off the 12 volt so that's nice because it can charge off of both and then going back around I'll show you we have this little light here this is, can be used outdoors what nice about this it has a little bit of a bug light feature it's not really intense and you see here's the light it goes to different lightnesses and this charges off a of USB too so again you can charge this off of a you know the 12 volt 
and then it also has this feature here let me turn off and you can see that kind of a bluish purple color there that is actually the bug light feature and what that works for pretty good is if you get those little gnats and we put this sometimes up on we'll put it up we'll put our shelf up here and we'll put it up on the top of the shelf and we'll just turn the regular light off and we'll just leave that up there while we're sleeping and any little gnats that get in here they'll they'll it'll zap them it doesn't make a noise but it it, it does get a few of them and that that helps out with that so we've got two of those and I'll post again where I got those I got those on Amazon we've got another one here and I say we've got two of them and they they work pretty good it's just plastic lens it looks like it's a rubberized light area that works really good. Um, another thing I just did recently, see, I'll get down here and show you. This is something that this company called Aluminoodle Noodle makes, and it's actually an LED. And I put them on the underneath the side of the counter here. Let's see if I can turn this the main light off here, and you can see that gives you a nice little kind of a mood light thing going on, and. It has it has four AA batteries and it just has a switch here. And it comes with really nice uh, 3M sticky stuff. So if you look up underneath here, you can see it's just an LED strip that has a 3M uh, sticky on it that goes in. And I, that's how that really well. I was really worried when I first put that up that that was going to fall off. I thought as soon as the heat gets in here built up in this camper while it's sitting closed up it was going to make that fall off but that adhesive is very good and so far we've had no problems with that at all. So that's worked out really well. And again that can go without having your 110. That's something that you can just have a low light. If you're in here getting ready to go to sleep at night you don't want a real bright light you can just turn that on and it works out really well. Um, Again, we can go through the lights that we had before. Uh, you know, some of the lights I worked out before, a little lamp that I had. I uh, showed you in my other video. You know, that would work good in here if you if you really need more lights. But, like I said, that's we pretty much used that outdoors. And, uh, so like I say, so far, this has worked out really well, what we've got here. Uh, again... These lights that they put in here, I saw someone, I think it was on one of the uh, Facebook pages that actually took this lens out of here and they, they painted it white on the inside. I may try that in the future, but these bulbs, just I just don't care much for them. Um, like I say, you can use other lamps in here, but again, for us, we have liked just this light here. Now, if you didn't have this, you could go out like I say we've got got that mood lighting for the LED down here I've got this little lamp here and also they sell other lamp I got another lamp that I won't get out right now but it's another one that plugs strictly into the USB on on your one on your uh, 12 volt and uh, it has a little a clamp that clamps onto a like a tabletop or something like that and that one I bought when I was going out west and I knew I wasn't going to have power and uh, it has a dimmer on it so that works out in fact I'll get it out and show it to you let's see here I have to find it here it is alright so here's this type light here and let me see if I can hook it up for you okay just to save some time I'm going to plug it into the 110 USB port and we'll look at it here like I say this thing is flexible and it changes you can actually hold this in and it dims see it dims down and it goes off and it'll dim back up again so that comes in nice what I sometimes will do with that is I'll mount it up high and I'll put it where it's beamed up and that way it kind of reflects off the ceiling and uh, that works out pretty good like I say that's again that runs strictly off your USB so it's more or less 12 volt so we'll push that in there again brighten it up 
and then that has a clamp on the end of it where you can clamp it to your countertop or I've clamped it onto a shelf but uh, we found that we don't use that one as much as I thought we would uh, anyway that's about all I have I just wanted to show you some of the lighting that we have in interior wise uh, in the comments kind of tell us tell me what what you use in your camper um, I mean I'm always looking for better ideals and so I'll be glad to see what you you worked out on your your a a frame type camper so that's about all I got make sure you uh, let me know what you think in the comments and like I say I'll try to post where I got these particular lights I have on on below on my part on my comments